back in. Let's do some testing, see if it's hot, see how my battery is. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, I'm wrong. 42 miles on a charge. Forty-two miles on my skateboard. On a single charge. That is ridiculous. Why do I go 42 miles? That's why you can go 42 miles. 150 18650s. Even though I'm not going to be able to feel through the Lexan, I can pretty much tell this battery. Even my speed controller is cold. My motor's warm now. Motor's got some heat in it. I got some squeakies in the board. I got to do, uh, I got to grease my bushings up. some grease in there take it apart put some synthetic in there 42 miles a new record for me that's on one charge so on a 34 33 amp hour pack it's uh 42 miles went into the skateboard park i did some hills Let it drive itself. Walk on my board. Now, hopefully I'm turning the camera the right way. Whew. Been out riding since 5 o'clock this morning. I think it's 8 or 9 now to get that 40 miles out of the board. It's killing me. But uh, go ahead and have a little coffee. Get five seconds. I'd like to take a minute to thank the Electric Samba Project. Just make sure I get his name right. J.U. Garcia. J.U. Garcia. Thank you. Uh, and I don't know his name. See that? HB Powerwall. Mates down there in Australia. Good job, guys. Like to see the testing. Uh, people don't realize that the 18650s, you know, they're not just not just building power walls, skateboards. You know, these are going to be the batteries of the future. It's just, you know, it's guys like us that are going to, you know, take these things to where they need to go into our kids toys buying shitty batteries fucking 8,000 times a week and uh, our boards like I said thanks for watching I'll have some more shit up here I'm uh, I'm 49 years old and I just drove 42 miles on my skateboard this morning and uh, my legs are hurt so I'm gonna go inside and try to upload some video and uh, if you guys can figure out, I'm in the process now of looking at cameras and video editing programs and all that shit. But uh, building skateboards and cars and turbos is easy for me. Sitting around a computer for 25 hours gets me crazy, but uh, I'm learning it's slow. But again, HB Powerwall, Jay Garcia, EEV Blog, Electric Skateboard Builders Forum. You got it, guys. And I'm sure there's tons of them else I missed out there that are, you know, building, but 
you know, for any of us out there playing with the 18650, I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate it to the 18650 because it seems that we're crossing tides with the uh, thing. But the coolest thing about this, I'm gonna take the battery off because I got a minute here and I'm just shit talking. Now you can see with these, there's no in, in these controls. There's no remote control. Very just all it is is basically a potentiometer and uh, throttle control because this is a wire build. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the battery off here. I'm gonna bring it in the house and charge it now. It's gonna take a good amount of time. But for the first time, I'm gonna force charge this one, which means I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put some retarded current through this. I'm gonna try my charge this at 15 amps. See if I can charge this whole entire pack in two hours. Which kind of forced charging it, but let's get this thing off here. Get the 40 miles. I'm about to put the phone down, so hold on a second. Nah, fuck it. Okay. Let's hold it. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Now, I watched some videos. Turn the camera this way, maybe it'll come out right on YouTube. I don't know. But battery is cold, wiring's cold. It's about time I start cleaning this shit thing up anyway. This mess of wiring. My BMS goes in here. And I haven't put the BMS in because I've been I've been more charging it through. I have a 10S uh Turnergy 10S charger, basically a hobby charger whatever you want to call it, but uh, it's doing my charging right now. And I'll tell you, 40 miles and the thing is cold. This is like unbelievable. 40 miles on this board today. So, I didn't beat on the board crazy today. So we're averaging a little less than an amp hour per mile. 15 miles an hour, 15 to 20 miles an hour. I wasn't going crazy today. So a little less than that. But usually the battery pack will draw about an amp hour a mile is a solid. So we've got a 33 amp hour pack, 1.2 kilowatt, kilowatt hours. I call it a 1.2 kilowatt pack, but in reality it's 1.2 kilowatt hours to a thousand watts from an hour. However you're looking, it's 150, 18, 650s at 2,200 milliamps each. 2,300, 2,200, blah, blah, blah. Same old thing. But uh, it's funny, HP Powerwall doing his testing and I'm doing my testing and Jay Garcia, man, I hope I'm saying that right. Slandering the guy's poor name. Sam Electric Samba Project. We're all kind of doing our own thing, ending up with the same same kind of same kind of uh, same kind of setups but uh, I'll be having some more shit like I said I got the solar going on right now you can see and this was put up temporary when we had the big storm but I have it all run to the roof and will I be running my solar on 18 650s no not now because I have about 25 different projects that I'm trying to finish here but uh, I have solar running all over. So a lot of this stuff has to do when I see HP Powerwall and his solar project and a bunch of them out there. It's kind of, we're all doing the same thing, even though the funniest part is, you know, I want to make these battery packs so I can take it out of here. And when I'm in my truck, I could use it for, you know, running inverters or charging stuff and shit in the house or bringing it outside. This way it's like a multi-purpose thing. And I think, uh, Samba electric Samba project had a cool idea with his uh, pointed at me. The electric Samba project had a cool idea with his uh, utilizing his battery bank as also a house bank, which is kind of cool. That you know, he can drive his car, take the thing, put it in the house, power runs out. You can use your battery bank not only for your car but your house, you know. So Thanks to everybody out there who puts out the videos. And uh, as soon as I get a little more proficient in this video editing slash computer 
shit. I'll put out some more stuff. But, uh, and again, thanks. And, uh, subscribe. The more you subscribe, the more influence it gives me to help, help other people. And, uh, like I said, Electric Skateboard Builders Forum, HB Powerwall, J.U. Garcia, I'm up, I'm not fucking slandering your name, and, uh, or the Sound Electric Samba Project, EEV Blog, you guys want to find out a lot of stuff on 18650s, they got a lot of stuff in there, uh, there's a lot of really good college courses, or professors that give seminars on 18650s, guys who work in the Tesla industry, or Ford Tesla, or General Motors, or whoever, who uh, give you a little more insight into what makes these things tick. If you keep them cold, they're going to last longer. And uh, blah, blah, blah. But one of the main things that I haven't heard on the blog is if you take the batteries and a cycle, and you cycle and say we get a 1,000 cycles for our 18650, and that cycle is between 4.2... 4.2 down to 3 point whatever 3.2 we're gonna say that's considered one cycle now if we're running a big monster battery pack like I run you're gonna uh, you're never gonna cycle the thing through a full cycle so by running the more batteries and a bigger even the power walls or anything like that the less you cycle them from nothing to something you're gonna, your cycle's gonna go up. Now, if you, would, if you were to run that thing and you said 1,000 cycles for an 18650, 1,000 cycles at an 18650. Let me put this down here. We're gonna do 1,000 cycles for an 18650. And uh, we only run it half, halfway down because we have so much battery bank. I'm gonna get 2,000 cycles out of it because I'm only cycling it halfway. And we're gonna keep going down from there. So. Even though you're running a bigger pack that you may not need, you're going to benefit in the end because your cycle rate is going to go down for the amount of use that you are using it. Because you're not fully cycling the batteries. Full cycle, all the way up, all the way down, one cycle. Two half cycles is one cycle. So trying to, you know, trying to keep the things in between there and keeping them cold. Cold, cold, cold. Most important thing with these batteries, keep them cold. And I mean cold, cold. I mean, don't let them heat up. Heat is the enemy of these. So the colder you're going to keep them, the better they're going to they're going to hold out for you. And what else? I don't know. I got to do a little maintenance on the board today. I got to take the board off. I got to grease all my bushings. I got some squeakies going on in here. And uh, check all my bearings again. Like I said, I'm running a I'm running a different bearing. So. My bearings are pretty, all these bearings are brand new. I swap them out like every hundred miles or so. The new bearings are cheap enough. Again, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the videos. Thanks for watching. And, uh, oh, today's Memorial Day. Memorial Day. You know what that means? It means we got to give thanks to a lot of guys out there. And I can't even believe that I would sit here for a minute and not recognize that is I'm gonna give a thumbs up to all the soldiers out there, two thumbs up if I could not have my hand on the phone, for uh, fighting for our freedom out here. And uh, my dad who's not with us today who fought in World War II and everybody else's dads and all that. So not only is it Memorial Day, it's a memorial that I got 40 miles out of this board and my 49 year old ass is still standing, but uh, there's a lot of guys who were, uh, put their life on the line who aren't standing now. So thank you to you guys out there. Some of us really appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.